Scott, you saved the best for last, your specialty, something I know you love to put on your smoker. Yeah, I, I usually do uh, uh, pork ribs, but this is a nice beef rib. Now I got this from my local butcher, uh, Strode's in Brantford, and he cut this personally for me right off the rib roast. So I'm just, what I'm gonna do now is just take that membrane off. Very important you do that. Yep, you uh, basically what you want before you put it on the smoker is to take it off and so you get the smoke penetration. So if you wanna pass me the uh, spice there, and we'll throw that on there and spice and again, these up. Lots. Oh, lots, put all lots on there. And again, this is personal preference, whatever spice yep. you like, I they guess. They call it rub, because we're gonna rub it into the meat. You know, flip it Both over sides. and do the other side, and then we'll put this on the smoker. Five hours later, she'll be done. Five hours, all right, let's go. All right, Scott, so here we go. Yeah, there's our beef ribs. They've been on there for five hours. Look at that, the bone's all exposed, beautiful. They're Looks gorgeous. fantastic. Oh, can't wait. I'm just gonna flip these over so I can cut in between the bones. And again, that dark color is because of That's the, the smoke. smoke, yep. And basically there is, there's your, oh, yeah. fingers, there's your beef rib. Looks beautiful. Beautiful, gorgeous. And it's gonna taste great too. Oh yeah, fantastic. Scott, great to have another Brantford boy on with us. Oh, thank you, greatly appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate you coming on this year, bringing us a smoker, introducing us yes. to something different. Always a pleasure. No problem.